It's CPU repair time. I got a 5900X and a 5800X that I paid 75 bucks for. What's wrong with them? Well, I've got about 30 to 40 bent pins in each of them, and the 5800X has a broken pin. So let's get to it. That's how I'm going to attempt to film my pin repair. Uh, I will be repairing it under there, and hopefully I'll be able to get a good angle with this setup right here. So we're going to start with the bent pin one first, which is the 5900X. Um, I'll try to move it to the other view so you can see how many bent pins. And then I eventually have to go turn my hot air station on to repair the next one. So let's get started with the 5900X. All right, so this is the two, these are the tools I use. I use a screwdriver and an X-Acto knife. I like to use the X-Acto knife blade for when I have like, you know, 10 to 20 pins in a row that are bent, or if there's definitely more than one. Uh, as you can see, it gives you the ability to bend more than one back. The only negative of it is that you can accidentally bend them back the wrong direction means you got to bend again. Uh, you definitely want to tilt the CPU to at all angles to make sure you have it actually bent straight and it's not like, you know, by re-bending one pin one direction, you didn't mess it up in like the other, another direction. Um, so you definitely want to want to be careful of that. It's a lot of trial and error with bent pins. Now, I definitely am a lot more liberal with these these pin bends then I would advise you to be now I've done this a lot and you know if I accidentally bend the pin too hard and snap it I can repair it so I'm not I'm honestly not too worried about that um, but like I said you want to be careful the screwdriver is for you uh, when you have ones that you don't feel comfortable with with a knife or they're hard to reach or you don't want to bend more pins than you need to I would definitely recommend using very thin screwdrivers like that one is basically the smallest one in the set I had uh, you can see it's it's pretty thin. Um, one other thing I do want to make note of, if you have pins that are like in the middle, sometimes a screwdriver is better than the X-Acto knife because you could just kind of reach in there and get them. Uh, you know, and I do want to I do want to tell you to be as careful as you can, especially if you have pins that are really 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 bent in one way because there's a good chance they'll break. As you can actually see in this video, in a minute I actually did snap off. Uh, a pin while bending all of these back wasn't terrible considering I spent about 10 minutes bending back I want to say somewhere between 40 and 60 pins um, but yeah these two these two pin uh, these two tools should give you exactly what you need and as you can see I'm just about finished bending them all back and let's move on to the part that I screwed up so I foobarred broke a pin Went to go remove it, had a shaky hand. I would advise keeping your elbows braced and not having a shaky hand. And I whacked another pin off, so I just had to take them both off. So one pin became two pins, and this will happen when you CP when you repair CPUs. Don't get upset. You just start over. Uh, so when I do get these pins back, what I need to do is I need to use my donor CPU, and I need to desolder pins from it. Uh, as you can see, it's it's in beautiful shape. You basically just take the heat gun, uh, you put the heat gun over it till it gets hot, and then you just smack a bunch of CP or pins off. There's really no re way, right or wrong way to do it. It just depends on how fast you want to get it done. All right, so you can see I just finished repairing it. I resoldered the two pins back on. The only way you can tell it was repaired is by the flux state. So let's get it popped in the test bench, which is just a gutted Alienware that I just keep to test Ryzen 5s. Um, and you can see that it posts. It took me, I want to say, about 45 minutes-ish, maybe 50 minutes when everything was said and done to get this thing fully repaired. It's going to go in my test bench to replace my 5600X. So now let's move on to the 5800X. All right, so here we've got the Ryzen 5800X. Uh, this one had about, I don't know, maybe like 20 to 25-ish bent pins, and it also had a broken pin that I knew going into it. So I was going to have to solder anyway, so I was more liberal than I was with the 5900X, knowing that I would still have some bent pins, or I would have a broken pin no matter what. So as you can see, I'm just using the knife. Uh, same method as with the 5900X on this one. Uh, I don't really think I use the screwdriver too much just because a lot of the bent pins were on the outside. And as you can see, you just kind of have to rotate angles to make sure that you have the pins bent the correct orientation. Um, and also remember, once you rebend these back, you will have to probably 
it doesn't exactly fall into this into the socket. Sometimes you got to put it, you know, you got to put a little pressure on them to get them in, and that's perfectly fine. So now you can see here, uh, there's the broken pin. Uh, I knew that coming in, like I said, and I am just going to quickly remove that with a hot air gun, and then I'm going to replace it. And as always, I made more of a mess than I should have. Uh, this was a harder repair than it needed to be. My hands were wobbly for some reason. So there's also an extra one. So I've got to resolder two pins. Here you can see the completed repair. It didn't take too long. Uh, maybe like 15, 20 minutes to get the two pins soldered back on. So let's go ahead and put it in the test bench and see if it works. All right, so we've got my uh, VM machine I kind of rigged up. Uh, and as you can see, it works and it posted. I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, the 5900X and the 5800X total probably took me about two hours-ish, maybe like two hour and a half hours when everything's said and done to repair. Uh, it was definitely worth it, and I'm going to put these both to good use. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.